Adding page numbers to a dissertation can be tricky, since we will use both Roman numerals and Arabic numbers in our document. In order to do this, we must first divide our document into sections. Since our title and copyright pages do not contain page numbers, let's begin by clicking on the last line of the copyright page. First, we will select the Page Layout ribbon at the top of the screen, locate the Page Setup group, and click on Breaks and Next Page. This will create a break between the first two unnumbered pages and the rest of the document. This will also create a blank page in our document, which we can remove by hitting the delete key and not the backspace key until the blank page has been removed. Now, let's locate the beginning of chapter one in our document. There it is. We will scroll back up to the page before our chapter one starts, click on the last line of that page and create another break. Again, click Break and Next Page. Just like before, a break has been created as well as a blank page, and we need to press the Delete key to remove the blank page. We now have three sections in our document. Section 1 containing our blank pages, Section 2 containing Roman numerals, and Section 3 containing Arabic numbering. Starting at Chapter 1, click on the Insert ribbon. Locate the Header and Footer group and click Footer and edit footer. This will show our headers and footers as well as indicate our sections. You can tell what section you're in by looking at the blue box on the header or footer. By default, all of our header and footer sections we've created are connected, so now we must unlink them in order to allow for our differing number systems. Click on the footer, and with the design ribbon selected, you will see a yellow highlighted box that says Link to Previous. Click that box to unlink the footer. Now, click in the header, and we will do the same thing. Our section 3 is now unlinked, so let's scroll up a page, which is the last page in section 2, and click in the footer, click the link to previous, and do the same with the header. Now that all of our sections have been created and unlinked, let's scroll up to the first page that will contain page numbers. Click in the footer area and then select the Insert ribbon. Click on Page Number, bottom of page, and select Page Number 2. Page numbers have been added to our section and now we must format them. With the Design ribbon selected, click on the page number on the top left of the screen and select Format Page Numbers. Click on the drop-down menu beside the words Number Format and select Roman Numerals. Where it says Page Numbering, we will change our Start At page to 3, since our first two pages are unnumbered. Press OK, and our page numbers are now Roman Numerals. We can scroll back down to the beginning of Chapter 1 to add our second set of numbers. Just like before, click in the footer, go to Insert, Page Number, bottom of page, and plain number 2. We can keep the default numbering, and now our document has both sets of page numbers.